born missing part of his right arm, he's mastered the one-arm swing, winning more than 30 tournaments. He plans to keep playing until he goes pro. I just like to win. Come on! I think golf chose him. By the age of three years old, he was deemed a golf prodigy. He could hit the ball nearly 100 yards, never having had a golf lesson. I've been losing to him since he was five. <laughs> <laughs> Over at uh, the Bears Club. Look up and there's Jack Nicholas standing right in front of us. And Mr. Nicholas said, can I see him hit a ball? Tommy hit the ball. Nicholas went. And he says, in all my years of golf, I have never seen anything like this. Now, that's some pretty high praise. And you, you can inspire the best that ever played. That's powerful. Oh, wow. Marsha and I both agreed that we were going to raise this child no differently than anybody else. You know, we could have chose to shelter him. But we decided to just put him out there. Incredible shot. Back here. There's a lot of speed that you generate. Yeah. How do you do that? I bounce it off my back shoulder, so that um, brings back a lot of force coming down to hit the ball. You literally bounce it off your shoulder. It hits your shoulder and then comes back down. Yeah. He's won 35 tournaments versus kids with two arms. To win with one arm versus a field with two, that's... You know you tried it today. <laughs> How did that lost, work out for I you? I lost both ways. But it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? You're cheating. You have to use one arm. I have a few questions. Yep. Um, how do you do that? Uh, I use it with my front hand. You can use whatever you want. Front hand. Should I use a longer club? Did I have a five iron? I don't know. Just sing it with one arm. You make it look easy. You're gonna make me like. I think that actually is a funny, like, life lesson there because what is normal for one person is mm -hmm. completely yeah. foreign for the other. And, right. and you can talk about your body, you can talk about your mind, you can talk about what you've seen or where you've been or the language. I mean, you know, try speaking Japanese. Right. right. You can't. The mental process to try and figure out how he does it, it's, it's really cool to watch. It is. It was much harder than I thought. What is what has he taught you through this whole journey? He taught us how to serve others. Um, for me, that's the greatest blessing of all of this. His story has become so global. I get correspondence daily from families all over the world that feel differently today than they did yesterday after having seen Tommy's story. All right, I've started to figure something out. It truly provides hope in people. There's an individual that was on a cancer watch and he was just gonna acquiesce to, to the disease and read the story, saw the story, videos. He said, all right, I can do this. Yeah, he reached out to me direct and said, I have to thank you. Your son has made me want to fight for my life. There's very few kids, individuals, that can say they saved lives. And at 10, he can say he has saved multiple lives. Families are finding hope because of Tommy's story, and it took golf to get it to them. We can do a lot of things in life, but when we can shape the way people think in a more positive view, it brings about a greater societal value. We've really done some things there. These are unintended consequences. Um, it's very organic the way, the way it all happens. We don't, we don't have a workout schedule. We don't have a practice schedule. It's, it's a boy being a boy, figuring it out.